This video is brought to you by Dev Mountain, a coding bootcamp that offers in-person and online courses in a variety of subjects, including web development, iOS development, user experience design, software quality assurance, and Salesforce development. For more information, consult the link in the description below. Writing a Python script that's going to take a list of YouTube URLs, and it's going to go to each one of those URLs and extract the metadata, so the title and description of each of those videos, in addition to a high quality download of the video file itself. So the reason that I made this script was because, as you know, I have a YouTube channel, as you can probably tell, and I wanted to create my own copy of the content that I've uploaded to YouTube, namely the metadata and video files, and I wanted to store them in, on an external hard drive just for my own records. So that was my purpose for creating this. You could, of course, take the general structure of this Python script that we're going to see and use it for whatever purpose you like. Um, you know what you use it for is uh, it can be quite a bit different than the intent that I have it for in this script in this video I should say um, but what we'll do first is we're just going to step through exactly what I did to kind of showcase what I'm doing and then if you like what you see if you want to follow along you can see exactly how I built this up I'll make it as self-contained as possible so you can follow along and uh, you can see you can also download the code for this video uh, on my github which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video so let me just showcase what I have done uh, so you can actually get a sense of what we're gonna do so first I'm just gonna open up this this file here I'm just gonna go to uh, I believe it is desktop YouTube stats and I think in here right so I'm just gonna open up the test links CSV file so there's a CSV file which in this case just has a small number of comma separated YouTube URLs so for instance if I go to this URL here this is just one of the videos on my channel I'm just gonna open up a tab in the browser whoops didn't mean to copy that one I copied the line number for that let me just go ahead and take this paste it in here so if I paste it in here, this is going to correspond to one of my videos. In this case, is a podcast that I recently put up on my channel with Adam Gordon Bell, which if you like this content, you should definitely check it out. Anyway, so that corresponds to this video here. And each of the subsequent links, I'm just going to close this, each of the subsequent links in this text file correspond to other videos on my channel. So we're going to go through each one of these links and extract the metadata, so the title and description, and also download high quality version of the video. So I'll just quit that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run this so you can actually see it in action. So one thing I want to point out is this is the directory in which the files are living. So you can see that the script that we will run that we will eventually write in this video is right here. The test links file that we just had open is right there. And what we're going to do is run this script and you'll see the contents in this directory get populated as we run it. So I'm just going to say python youtube stats.py. I'm going to navigate over to my browser. You can see that it already downloaded a text file and a corresponding video file for the video, the first link in that uh, list of links that we saw. So if I double click on this on this file, you can see that it, it took the title of the video and just kind of got rid of any extra characters, spaces, um, separated all of that by just underscores to create the name of the file. And we can see here, this is really just the description of that video. And if I close that out, go back here, the title of the corresponding video has the same name with, it, of course, a different extension. And it's just about down here. It's downloaded all of the uh, links and, again, all the metadata and videos corresponding to those. And I think it might just be still chugging along. It might have already finished, actually. I think it may have finished. So all of these things are just downloaded to the current directory that the script is in. Of course, you can change that to your own needs if you wish. So that's the general gist of what we're going to be building in this video. If you like that, if you can see how you can maybe, I don't know, modify this for your own purpose, or if you just want to see how I did it, then feel free to follow along and we'll go from there.